for a long time, uh, people who study DNA and, cr and chromosomes and heredity were finding the causes of very rare diseases. But the, the, the goal has always been to help the most people possible. And in order to do that, you have to look at the very common diseases, things like diabetes, things like arthritis, things like inflammatory bowel, things like schizophrenia, autism. And these diseases, we speculate, are not caused by the same thing in every different person. You have to devise methodologies um, that allow you to find out what is causing that disease, that particular disease, in a particular person. So one of the things we've done here is we've put together one of the world's largest collections of subjects with various diseases. 250,000 samples are in the Rutgers repository. And the, the techniques that have been developed largely as an offshoot of the Human Genome Project now allow us to interrogate the DNA of large numbers of people. In the past, it was a major job just to look at the DNA of one person. The amount of work we do has been doubling every two to three years, and uh, it's at least 20 times as much as when we started 12 years ago. We received an ARA grant. ARA is the acronym for the stimulus, for the economic stimulus. The grant was $9.6 million, and it's to uh, renovate um, a whole floor of the Nelson Biological Labs and turn this floor into a robotics facility. We can look at enough people with each disease to determine if the causation is the same in each of them, and if it isn't, what are the different groups of causations? And it's a first step toward what we call personalized medicine. If we can continue this expansion in these very tough economic times, I think we can bring a lot of economic prosperity to this state and of course to the country.